You gave us everything that you had We mad as hell, cause you had plenty left We gon' run for you, make your presence feel sure We gon' keep the mission going till it's done, yeah But you gone too soon Ooh, nah, nah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna do this with myself today just because it's late Saturday night. My husband's out of town. The kids are all sleeping. Jeffrey went to not scary farm. He's kind of getting back into his loop. So I'm gonna try to get it done because I'm like a week behind, almost two weeks. Um, and I know you guys are like at that cliffhanger after the donor episode. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. This would be episode five. So I'm basically explaining my son's journey after his accident. Um, if you want to go back all the way to the beginning and just start there. Because I'm just picking up from when I left off. Um, and if you're back to pick up where we left off, then welcome back guys. Thank you for your patience and... Last week was just really rough on me and I didn't want to record anything. Um, and then I went back to work. So just trying to find a flow again. Um, and today was just really emotional. I was just talking a lot about the accident with my kids. And posting on Instagram. I was like, you know what? I think I'm ready to finally vlog and just pick up where I left off. So this episode will be about... Let me see. We are at... We are at the candlelight vigil. So Friday the 18th, we came back from the donor surgery. Um, now my Georgie has passed, he's already gone to heaven. And we are on our way back. The kids, all of his friends coordinate um, the candlelight vigil that our, our friends had originally said they wanted to do, but it just didn't fall through because of the, the donation surgery. So, they were gonna do it Friday, they canceled that to do it Saturday with the kids. So we just decided, you know what, let's just make it easy for everybody. We'll just do it at our house. So we put the date for Saturday, um, 7 p.m. Everybody come to our house and we'll just figure it out from there. I have never been to a candlelight vigil. I have never held one. This is my first time, so we were just gonna kinda milk it and see what happened. Um, I do remember that my husband's friends had kind of just put all their info out there for the club that he was from. Um, people that we have been around almost every weekend for the past two years, I'm trying not to get emotional, but um, came through in the most amazing way. Like, you don't expect these kind of people to, how can I say this, let me see. You don't expect certain you expect certain people to want to help you you know what i mean but then the other ones you're kind of like oh it's okay if they don't you know but the way that everybody came across and just wanted to help us and wanted to be there for us just blew me away um from the beginning i just i just told my husband every night when we lay down to like say our prayers we're just like telling god like we are so thankful like all these people you would put into our lives and everybody who's just like warriors for us you know um just beyond blessed so all of the the old, the old club members that my husband was from all went together and like just food, um, drinks. They were going to bring everybody. They put out their word. And then my bestie, they got food and stuff together and she got balloons and candles and we went and got candles and it was just, it was a lot of things that happened in just one day, um, cleaning up the house as much as we could. And so at this point, my neighbors in our in our apartment complex next to us, they didn't know anything because we're very private. We don't really go out and talk. But they know my kids because they've seen my kids. So um, when the candlelight vigil happened, the amount of people that showed up just, again, blew me away. Um, I didn't expect it to be that amount of people. I didn't expect all the kids to show up. I didn't even expect, like, my son's football coach to show up. That was like, whoa, you know, like, you're really here um parents and just it's just so much outreach it was just amazing um my neighbors did not come out and join us but the next day they did come out and they were just like i want to talk to you i want to like just share that they just felt so bad you know like you you walk by the front of our apartment because we're on the corner and you would hear george 
because he was always in the game you would always hear him talking like you walk by now and it's completely quiet no one's really saying anything we just kind of just do our own thing and it's just the house is quiet it's super dead now um but they just like mine like i would always remember walk seeing him walk to help with laundry and stuff like that it's just a whole different dynamic now so they came out and reached out to us so um i'm trying to think Give me a second because I had a brain fart. What I wanted to say. I wanted to share with you the things that I told you I was going to share with you. So the heartbeat rhythm that they had put in the vials. I took mine out because I actually got mine tattooed on me. Right here. I'll have a video on the tattoos later, but I got his heartbeat rhythm. And then the um, before Bella left, they came in and did her handprint with George. So this one's Bella's. It's just a little display in her room. Um, that's that one. I know Johnny got one of these, um, an empty one that he could do his hand with. Um, Dre, I gave one to Dre. So yeah, those are those. And then the mold, the day of the donate, the last episode, these are the molds. So my baby's hand, I can literally like put my hand in his hand every day and just feel his imprint and it brings me so much comfort. So like I said, because it's, um, it's create the Crayola mold, magic mold or whatever. It's not super hard. I feel like I could still kind of um, mess up the impression. But um, I didn't want to put it in a case or anything. I have extras, but just because I literally touch it every day. I'm having a bad day. I just touch it. It just, and it's so detailed. You could literally see all the fingerprints and everything. Just, I don't know. It gives me comfort the little things right and then okay so the day of the the day of the candlelight vigil we got shirt we were wearing shirts that elvia actually got us made elvia johnny's cousin she messaged me and was like um on monday when we first got the first brain death um date she had messaged me mom can i get some some shirts made and I was like oh yeah like that'd be great and so she got some done the date is with the first date because that's the time of death that they first gave me I didn't know at the time when we had told everybody that they were going to do a second one so she had printed it with that one so it's fine you know but those were the first ones um you'll see them in the video and the pictures at the end but those ones were absolutely beautiful she actually got some extra ones made for the funeral for um our cousin Nancy and Jessica and stuff like that but my husband wanted to wear a different shirt he's more of the airbrush type so we went looking out that morning, last minute, you know, and nobody really wants to do things last minute. We went to the Waterman's Swap Meet. There's a gentleman who does, um, he's like a, he's like in the front row, I want to say like the first or second row, oh, the second row when you walk in. He um, has a little airbrush shop and he was telling my husband, you know, I, can't, I don't know if I can get it done today. And my, and my husband told him the situation. He was just like, you know what, like, I'll do it for you. Um, so we look, our thing started at five. We got there at 10 when they opened. Our thing started at 7 and the shirt was ready at 5.30. So we barely made it. But this is my husband's shirt. Sorry, big old shirt. It's been in the closet. But this is my husband's shirt that he had got done that day. Um, Yeah, and then he gave us another screen print of this. So I could put it on something else. So I have that put away too. So we had got that done. And then... Everybody came and we ate and shared stories and I wish that I had recorded more of it. I didn't know at that time that this is what I wanted to do, but um, I got little bits and clips and the old club that my husband was from wrote in and it was just beautiful. It was so nice to see how many people were there for us. Um, I'm just so blessed. Like every time I look back and just think of everything, like George just constantly reminds me how great I am as a mom by letting people tell me how great I am as a mom like he well he's the one kid that would always tell me like mom you're doing great like, always remind me that um never fail to remind me and now people that just reach out to me you guys remind me all the time so just I know that it's George just like mom like let me keep, keep telling you as you keep pushing through um so yeah just know that that's helping me so much I just appreciate everything you guys um, say, all your feedback, the comments, I read everything. Um, if I don't get a chance to write you back, sometimes Instagram just kind of like throws it and I'll find it later when I 
write to you or something. It's just so random. A lot of the messages that I had gotten um, when we were in the hospital, I didn't see until like probably two, three weeks ago. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention, oh, the song that was written for George. Um, so I didn't know Qualese until actually it was like earlier this year, I want to say. So Playboy um, on his SoundCloud, the one that's linked, I want to say it's linked in the first and second video. It's not linked in the third and fourth ones. And I, I didn't know how to do the description. I do now, so I can go put them. But he had, I will, um, okay, last year we had only had one car. We had one car, one, and the bike. Um, in the wintertime, when it's a little bit rainy, my husband will take the car because I literally work two minutes away. I could just walk home. So he would take me to work. I would walk home um, just so he could have the car and he didn't have to ride the bike. So at that time, there was one day where I had got off um, and Jeffrey was with, Jeffrey and Ajane came to pick me up. And we live right here on the corner, so McDonald's right here on the corner. And we walked over there and Jeffrey was like, you know what, mom, can we get McDonald's for dinner? And I'm like, that's fine with me. Um, so we cross the street, go to McDonald's. I order and Qualys comes up and he's like, Jeffrey. And so everybody knows Jeffrey. Um, that's why George was always like, oh, I hate Bailey, Jeffrey's little brother. He wanted his own little name, but everybody knew Jeffrey. So he was like, Jeffrey. And he's like, I got you on this. And I was like, no, like, I'm going to pay. And he's like, nah, like, he took the receipt. He's like, I got you. And I just remember like, oh my God, how sweet this, like, just so sweet. He blesses the meal. So he blessed with the meal. I went a second time. I want to say like a month later, he did the same thing. And I had George with me. George was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, just so sweet. So when I was in the hospital, he had messaged me and he was like, mom, I want to ask you. He's like, I know you, I don't know if you know that I do music, but I wanted to ask you if I could have your blessing to make a song for George. I was like, oh my God, like I would be honored. And he was like, no, I would be honored. Like, just give me some time and I'll get it done. I was like, to take all the time you need, like just the fact that you're going to write a song about him. I'm honored. So I want to say that was probably Sunday or Monday. And by the time I was already at the hotel, he had sent me the link. He was done so quick. Um, I couldn't stop listening to that song. I still can't stop listening to it. It makes me cry every single time. Just the fact that you, if you're watching this, Qualys, the fact that you care to write something for him so special. Um, know that it means so much to me. I cherish it forever. I don't take things like that for granted. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't speak up more about it earlier, but I wanted you to know that I'm very grateful for you very grateful for you and your music and i hope it takes you far i know you're doing football and i love to see you thrive baby but i just whatever you do in life i hope just god takes you far um and then i thought that he was jeffrey's age and he's actually george's age so blew me away too like whoa you know um let me see what else so at the at the candlelight like i said we all shared our stories and everything Everybody ate. Um, as it winded down, we were leaving. Everybody started leaving. I decided I got some time to go inside and to rest. Like my, mentally, I was just drained. Um, the week was super long. I was already tired. It had already been a week from the accident. The longest week of my life. I was exhausted. My mom was in the kitchen washing some dishes. I remember I sat down. I had just sat down to start. Um, everybody had tagged me from the candlelight. I was actually like reposting. And my husband was outside sitting down with his friends, with George's friends. And I didn't know Jeffrey had left um, because he had just told his dad, like, I guess he had told dad, like, I'm going to go down to the corner. Um, we're going to go grab something to eat really quick and we'll be back. And my husband was like, okay, that's fine. Be safe. So they took off and I didn't know. I just, I was on my phone and it, Jeffrey was FaceTiming me. So I answered it really quick and he had the phone to his face, not like, where I could see him. He was like, hey mom, I want you to not to worry. I just need to let you know that we were just in a car accident, but we're okay. And I was like, what? And he was like, we're okay. I was like, where are you? And he's like, right here by Weeder Sissel. We're actually right here by the Home Depot by your work. I was like, oh my God, like I'll be right there. So I like ran out the door and my husband was like talking to the boys. I was like, Jeffy, we're just in a car accident. And they were like, what? Um, my husband jumped on the bike. The boys took the car and they left. Um, my mom was freaking out, so I couldn't leave her. Um, they called me and told me that he's fine, everything's fine, but the cars were pretty messed up. So the boys came back. I left um, Elvia and somebody else, I don't remember, they stayed in the house. I, went, I think it was Ray, Ray, 
Yeah, that's right, right. He stayed in the house with Elvia. They um, stayed right there with my mom because she was freaking out. And I got in the truck and I left to go see Jeff. When I got there, they had already assessed him. All of Jeffrey's friends were fine, thank God, but the cars were tore up. I had asked what happened. They were like literally like we were at the red light. It turned green. It was the shared light. So he's like, we were just waiting. There was no cars. We were turning and the car came out of nowhere and bam, just hit him. They kind of like um, spun and then landed on the light by day. The other guy's car was just messed up. By the time we got there, by the time I got there actually, um, the other guy had already taken, they already took him to a hospital. So I didn't see him. His wife has, was there already like looking at the car and everything. Um, it was just a lot. It was a lot because I'm like, God, like last week I lost my son. Now my other son's in an accident. It was just a lot to take in. So we got home. We took him home. They were fine. But he was like, um, what was he telling me? He said, my body hurts really bad. Because it hit, actually hit him on Jeff's side. Like, it hit him on Jeffrey's side. It should have done something more. But the way that the car was. But, you know, when you have angel on your side. He was like, I'm in a lot of pain, but I don't want to go to the hospital. I don't think anything's broken. Let me just rest and um, we will figure it out tomorrow. So Sunday was actually the day that the first fundraiser that anybody wanted to do was actually the one that Amy did. My little Amy, she wanted to start doing, because she sold, um, like, res she not raspos. She had sold, like, I can't even speak, agua frescas and like chicharron and all those like during the antojitos pues um during the covid during summer she would sell them and um she had put up when we were on our way from the hospital this sunday is going to be a little different um all of the proceeds that we make are going to go towards our family i was like blown away like what the heck like, everybody like after another just everybody wanted to help us um so we were like, let's get some rest because we're going to go to her house tomorrow and actually help her because I was expecting a lot of people to come. We knew that our friends were going to be there and there, but them alone is a lot to deal with. So I was like, let's go home and get some rest. Um, we had brought Dre back from Vegas. Remember, I told you if you watched the other episode, he had actually asked to spend the weekend with us. So because he was spending the night, Johnny had asked him he could spend the night. So um, yes, spend the night. That was the first night. I actually like got rest as weird as it was um I slept we kind of put our mattress on the other side of the couch couch divided us and we put the kids went air mattress on the other side of the living room they were playing they all brought snacks they were playing George's video game um listening to music talking and I just knocked out I remember the next morning when I woke up they were telling me like mom since this happened like that that was the first night that I actually slept um the way they felt was the way I felt. I think just us being together and being home with George, you know, like not George was at home, but like just being together basically in Georgie's home um, gave us a little bit of rest. So we all rested, got together, and then we just headed over to Amy's fundraiser. The fundraising part of everything, I kind of want to put them all together just because I want to show you guys like what everybody had done for us at that point. But, um, when the accident happened the next day when I had wrote every, everybody the message that Jeffrey got in the accident, everybody was just telling me like, oh my God, like what the hell? Um, Alex was actually one of the first ones. It was like, I need to get you guys a bracelet. I need to get you guys like, even Sandra, she, Alex and Sandra actually. Um, Sandra right away ordered bracelets for all of us, protection bracelets, and Alex got us bracelets. Um, there was something else that had happened that I wanted to say in this video. So it's not jumped in another one. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so fogged still. I'm glad you guys keep up with me. Um, oh, so when it came to like the funeral planning already, because we had already had to do that, um, my ex's sisters, Sandra and Joanna, actually took the initiative to help me because I wasn't ready for that, like I said. And I've never planned, and they had planned for their mom. So they were like, let me help you. So initially when George George's accident happened, no, the day of George's actual death was when the state of California lifted the COVID law, the no masks and kind of like back to normal. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, let's just figure it out. We have this much do collecting the donations. And Jeffrey said, if everything, like out of everything, mom, like all I want is George to have a celebration. Like that's what he would want. He would not want a funeral. He would want a celebration. So let's give him a party. So I had told Sandra and Joanna that, and they're like, okay, cool. So 
they were like, we're going to call this place, this place, this place. How many people do you expect to come? And we were like, a lot. Like, at least 200, at least. Um, but see what we could do. So when she had called me, um, in, in my head, I was thinking Forest Lawn because it's big. It's beautiful. It's big, but it's far. But I'm like, that's probably the only place that's going to be able to accommodate us. When she had called me, she had said, Get, I called Forest Lawn and they were not allowing more than 40 people. I want to say 30 or 40. But I was just like, what? I have dinner, dinner with more than 40 people at a sitting sometimes. Like, no, that's not going to work. She's just like, I know. Um, let me just keep looking. So my husband's best friend, Weddle, his wife, Brenda, had actually reached out to me and told me that her mom's friend um, does coordinating and um, she wants us to get in contact with her. So she gave me her number and I gave it to Sandra and Sandra had reached out to her and they set up an appointment for Monday. So we're on Sunday already. Um, we did the Amy's fundraiser, which I will share in the next video. And then Monday's the day we go sit with the mortuary. So at that point, that's all that had happened. Am I leaving anything out? I don't think so. But you know me, if I do, I'll probably throw it in the next video. Um, like I said, thank you guys for just bearing with me. I know that I'm a mess. Um, this video is lonely because I'm by myself. And I hope you don't hear Benji snoring in the background because he's loud. But um, I love you guys once again. And just thank you for being so patient. Um, I'm probably going to try to record, to be honest. I probably want to try to record the mortuary meeting and um yeah i think i'm gonna try to do that one tomorrow because it's gonna be another short one it'll be short ones until i do the actual like um yeah it'll probably be like the mortuary meeting and then it'll be the fundraising and then it'll be like the funeral planning and everything and then the funeral um oh no i'm lying i actually have a surprise for you guys coming up Yes, there is something else that I wanted to say. It's not coming to my head, but I want to get this video out, so I'm going to finish it right here. Um, if you have not subscribed, because I have a lot of my people who are watching my videos, they're watching, but they're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, it helps me tremendously. Like if you can. If you comment, interact, that's great. Just the share would be great. Um, I love you all so much, and thank you again for just being interested in his story. And my chaos of trying to tell it without crying um yeah i love you good night We're forever grateful yeah. to be his parents. Like, I'm forever grateful to be George's mom. Like, 16 years too soon. Um, I wish I had very many more, but like everyone of it says,